Hi, welcome back to my vlog. Uh, today I dedicate this video to a incredible creature who is around us, uh, but we are terrified of it. So let me start off with a quote uh, by Ralph Waldo Emerson. He says, "Fear always spring from ignorance." So I think this experience is mutual with a lot of you people because of the pandemic we have started noticing a lot of things which we usually overlook so what has happened in the past two months or so i have new cohabitants and uh, they just popped up what i realized is they come over inside our homes at a very specific time of the year uh, to build a nest and bring up the young so till now often I have either not bothered or shoot them away, but this time it's phenomenal. And guess what? There's a relationship that is there right now. So I'm going to share a set of compilation. But before that, I just want to give you an overview of my learnings and experience about this fascinating creature, which we uh, commonly call as a wasp. Uh, in Hindi, it's called uh, tataya. Uh, the scientific name I've discovered is called Dropa Linda Madhani Nata, right? Uh, and I have also discovered about the gentleman who have spent around 40 years studying Indian wasp. Uh, he have been awarded uh, the highest civilian award by Germany. Uh, his name is Raghavendra Garakkar. Right? He's with the Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore, and uh, he writes uh, I'll, I'll try and include that link in the show notes he writes i have been stung a dozen times but never complained i guess that's what love does to you uh, the another thing that he mentions or refer to is the pattern of the wasp the interaction is a mirror to human society and i have partly discovered that in uh, the past few months uh, so there are some very interesting uh, examples, some of which I have managed to capture and I'll share the footage. Some of it uh, I could not capture. So uh, the relationship has evolved over a period of time. So I initially see them, I do not uh, shoot them away, I let them be. Suddenly I see so many of them. So it's a group of sisters coming together to build a nest and bring up the children. And they will identify a very cool, cozy place inside your house. Right, probably your living room or your bedroom. Uh, one fascinating habit I have seen is they love the AC. So I've seen some of them sitting at a vent where the cool air oozes out. Very now, now and then. Other thing I've noticed is they try to get out of the room every now and then. And this is an incredible uh, behavior I have noticed. Uh, initially I should see them popping against the glass window right and I should open the window to let them out gradually I noticed sometimes uh, when I used to enter the room there used to be like four five of them uh, flying all over the place and they noticed me entering the room and they come to the glass window it seems that they, they, they were just waiting for me to walk in so that I can let them out and if I let them out, it's fine, they're happy, they go about the business. If the, I do not, say I pick up a newspaper, I don't bother, a few of them will come right around my face and hover over. They'll maintain a distance, but it's like they'll come, look into my eyes and say, Hey, we want you to open that window. Hame bahar jana hai. We want to get out. right? And this has happened a couple of times. Initially, I thought it's a fluke. Right, so I tried that again. I did not open the window, but one guy always comes up and do this. I say, "Get out! Get out! Can't you see us? We need to go out." And I open the window and zoom, they're out. So this this is incredible intelligence. They sense and they change the behavior according. This process is something that has not just fascinated me; it has blown my mind. I have come to reconsider a lot of my previously held perception about them. They are extremely intelligent and sensitive, right? So what I've learned is if you respect them, they will respect you back. 
so in the, in the footage that i have collected uh, there is a specific one where a wasp actually sits around a drop of tea that i have dropped and then th that's tea with milk and sugar and actually drink it up right So these are intelligent, sensitive creature who is not out there to kill you. The only occasions they might attack you is when you try and disturb or damage their nest. They're just trying to protect their children, right? The other time they might attack you is when you attack them out of fear, right? So please don't be afraid. Uh, the other part of the wasp, which I've discovered online based on certain scientists uh, and the discoveries is they're half blind. The reason you might see them suddenly buzzing around your neck or around your ears is not because they are planning to attack you. It is because they cannot figure out whether it's a human or a tree or a sofa. They're just trying to figure it out. The moment they figure out, they're going to navigate around you. They're not going to attack you or sting you, right? If you move around, they will also not get into your way. Right? So please don't be scared, understand them as creatures with their own behavioral pattern and maybe we can coexist. It's like if you respect them, they will respect you back. Right? And they contribute a lot to our biodiversity, our environment. So they do play a role. Right? So next time you see them outside your house or inside your house, uh, please understand they are not out to attack you or kill you. Uh, and hopefully this set of videos will also make you understand how adorable they are as creatures. Right? Uh, so do let me know your thoughts, your views in the comment section. Uh, and I'd love to imagine a world when we are a little more understanding of creatures in our urban environment. So that we are a little more sensitive towards them. Thank you.